Hello everyone, and welcome to a math hacks video where I'll be showing you how to multiply matrices. If this topic seems confusing to you at first, then I promise you're not alone. Before we get started with an example, let's talk about when we're even allowed to multiply matrices. So if we have matrix A times matrix B, we need to check that the inner dimensions are the same. So you always write rows, then columns. So for example, if matrix A is a 2 by 3 matrix, and matrix B is a 3 by 4 matrix, then we, we know that we're allowed to multiply these matrices if these inner numbers match. So since 3 does match 3, we're allowed to multiply them. The actual dimensions of the product will be the outer, so 2 and 4. Dimensions of the product. Okay, we're always allowed to multiply square matrices, so with that out of the way, let's actually get started with an example. We're going to want to build the product one column at a time. So we'll start by writing down the first matrix again. So that's 4, 2, 3, 1. And then we're just going to write down the first column of the second matrix. Right next to that, we'll do the same thing, but with the second column of the second matrix. 4, 3, 2, 1, and 4, 5. Great. So now what we're going to do is distribute the first number of this column to the first column and the second number to the second column. So we're going to have 4 times 1 and then 1 times 3. So that's just 4 and 3. And we're going to add that to 2 times 2 and 2 times 1. So that gives us 4 and 2. Now for the second column of the, for the, second column of the final matrix, we're going to do the same thing. So we'll first distribute this 4 to this 4 and this 3. So that's going to give us 16 and 12. And then we're going to add that to 5 times 2 and 5 times 1. So that gives us 10 and 5. So our final matrix is going to have a first column of 8, 5, which is just 4 plus 4 and 3 plus 2, and a second column of 26 and 17. So the final matrix is going to be 8, 26, 5, 17. Now a word of caution is that A times B is not always equal to B times A. In this example, we wouldn't even be allowed to multiply B times A since a 4 by 3 matrix, no sorry, since a 3 by 4 matrix and a 2 by 3 matrix do not have an inner match. Even when you are allowed to multiply these matrices, they're not always, they don't always give the same answer. So let's try that here. Example 2. We have 1, 2, 4, 5, and 4, 3, 2, 1. At this point, I do recommend pausing the video and trying the multiplication for yourself. But I'll continue now. So again, we write down the first matrix twice. Uh, that over here, and each column of the second matrix. Now we distribute like before, so that's going to be 4 times 1 and 4 times 2, and 12 and 15. Over here we have 2 times 1, 2 times 2, added to 1 times 4 and 1 times 5. So adding these numbers up, we get 16, 23, and 8 and 9. For a final answer of 16, 8, 23, 9. So you'll note that 16, 8, 23, 9 is not the same matrix as 8, 26, 5, 17. We haven't made a mistake, it's just that AB is not necessarily BA. Now, you may have learned a different algorithm in school for calculating these same products. Don't worry, both algorithms are fine, um, it's just that I think this method is a little bit slower and gives, gives you a little bit of a smaller chance for, a pro for an error. However, we can do the first uh, multiplication again using the same method that they use in school. So this gives us 4, 2, 3, 1 and 1, 2, 4, 
five. So what they'll tell you in school is to go immediately to building the final product. So what we're gonna wanna do is take the first row of the first matrix and the first column of the second matrix to give us this position, the first row, first column of the product matrix. Now, if you've heard of a dot product, that's exactly what we're gonna do, but if you haven't, don't worry about it. So we take four times one, so the first entry of the first row and the first entry of the first column, and we go, we multiply those and get four. And we take the second entry of the first column and the second entry of the first row, which is two times two, which is four. So we have four plus four here. Now for this first row, second column, we take the first row, second column, and we get four times four plus two times five. So that's gonna be 16 plus 10. For the second column, we go second column, first row, second column, first row, which is gonna be three plus two. For the second row, second column, we have second row, second column, 12 plus five. Of course, this is gonna give us the same answer of eight, 26, five, 17. So you're free, of course, to use whichever method you like. Personally, I prefer this method, even though it does take a little bit longer, just because I tend to make fewer mistakes. Now, the same process still works for larger matrices and matrices that aren't square. For example, we could use it on a two by three times a three by four. Let's do one more example on a three by three. I'm gonna use my original method again, because with this many calculations, I'd really prefer not to make a mistake. Bear with me if I do. So I'm gonna rewrite the first matrix. Three, two, two, four, one, four, two, one, two, and the first column. Three, one, two. I'm gonna write the same thing again uh, two more times, but with the second and third column. Three, four, two. Three, four, one. Two, three, one. Now again, we're gonna distribute this first number to the first column, the second number to the second column, and the third number to the third column. We're gonna do that all three times. So we're, and then we're gonna add the individual steps. So this gives us nine, 12, six, plus two, one, one, plus four, eight, four. Try to do these next two by yourself. In any case, it's gonna be 9, 12, 6, plus 8, 4, 4, plus 2, 4, 2. Of course, doing a 3 by 3 is a bit tedious, so if you do prefer the original, or if you do prefer the second method, then feel free to use it. 6, 8, 4, 6, 3, 3. Two, four, two. Now from this, I'm just gonna write the final matrix since I don't wanna take up too much of your time. But we're gonna have nine plus two plus four, which is just 11 plus four or 15. 12 plus one plus eight, which is 21. Six plus four plus one, which is 11. For the second column, we're gonna have 10 plus nine, which is 19. 12 plus eight, which is 20. Six plus four plus two, which is 12. And for the final column, we have 14. 8 plus 3 plus 4 is 12 plus 3, 15. And 4 plus 3 plus 2 is 9. That should be our final answer. So this completes our examples, and thank you everyone for watching. Leave a like if this was helpful, subscribe if you want to, and feel free to leave a comment with topics you'd like to see covered or ways that I can improve. Have an integrate day.